I didn't see you there, children. Hello, and welcome to Barry's Corner. On today's show, we're going to look at people's artworks that have been sent in. We're going to take a trip to Joe's Corner and see what he's been whipping up in the corner. And we're also going to take a trip to see Perry and Randy today as well. Let's get on with the artwork. I know. This one was sent in by Ali, age nine, from Newcastle. And it's, there. it's very, very colourful, very colourful abstract painting she's done there for us. Well done, Ali. This one's Sam. This one's by Sam, age six, from Sunderland. He's done a very nice drawing of himself with his house and some trees outside. That's very creative there. Here's Zoe, age five, from Liverpool. Done a very nice abstract painting there. They're very nice, very colourful. I'm loving it. Here's Jake, age ten, who's done a watercolour painting of his house in Hull with the sun shining and saying he loves his mum there as well. It's a very nice, very nice thoughtful message there. Here's Lily, age five, from Newcastle as well, making a picture of a flower. It's a very nice picture there, loving the colour scheme there. Here's Aaron, age four, from Birmingham, who has done a very nice picture of his house with the green with the grass shining outside. It's very nice. Here we have Leila Carr, age 10, from Bradford, who's done a very nice picture of butterflies with flowers coming out from there. It's very pretty, very pretty one. And here we have a picture of a boy named Luke from Hull, who's done a very beautiful picture of a battleship. It's very, very colourful there, loving the dark grey. And here we have Aaron, age four, who's made a very nice picture of himself holding an umbrella. All right, thank you for all the lovely children who've sent in those pictures, which we'll put up on Barry's wall later. Now, let's go over to Joe's corner and see what he's making. Hello, Joe. Hello there. And how, what are you making today? In this uh, I'm doing a dragon out oh. of using chalk. This is very correct. Now, can you go through the process of showing how you make this? Uh, yes. Uh, here I'm doing a, dra a dragon with uh, out using chalk. Uh, I'll go through what I'll go through the steps that I did to use it. At first, you want to draw out the outline of the dragon. So, you want to do a little one here for your eyes, another one here, and bring it round to the nose and part of the mouth here. And then bring it down to the bottom of the head, and then go out towards the neck. Then, you want to do the eye, which is like an arch shape, like that, and with a, like a, a spiky dragon's eye on the inside of it. And then circles for the nostrils. And then uh, when it comes to adding detail, you just want to put little arches like that and then smudge it out and put them all together like that. It will take some time to add the details of the uh, dragon scales in. But in the end, what you'll be left with is a worthwhile dragon such as this one that I prepared earlier. Wow, Joe, now that's very creative. Now I hope you children all took that in so you can make very cool dragons this year. This year. We'll come back to you later, Joe. Now let's go over to Randy's place and see what he's been doing. Good afternoon there, Randy. Now what have you been drawing today? Uh, hello there, Barry. I've currently drawn a freighter ship. Oh, that's very nice. Though. Can you show us how you drew this? Yes, I will. Yes. Basically, if you want to do a ship like that, you basically get a, you need a plain piece of paper, a ruler, and the pencil, but if you want to colour it in, that's just get some coloured pencils. So basically, you make a line like this. Like that. Then you uh, make an, a line on an angle like that, but a real short one like that. And then you um, make another line there. And then you add another line there. And then you just basically put one upwards. Like that. Like that. And then you just add water. That. And if you want to add some containers, just do this. So freight containers, do this. Put line there, line there, line there. Just as many, many as you want, really. You can join them up if you want. So yeah, just that's just basically, and you can use any colour that you really want to make it. That's it, really. Well, that's a really cool freight we've got going there, Randy. And I hope all you children at home can do the same as what Randy can do. Now let's go over to Perry's corner and see what she's up to. Now, let's go over to Perry's corner and see what she's been drawing today. Hello, Perry. Hello. Uh, what have you been drawing for us today? We'll make a butterfly. Oh, that's very nice. We'll come back to Perry in a few minutes to see how she gets on with drawing these butterflies. We're falling in half. The piece of paper shape makes it symmetrical. Then we draw the shape you want. And 
then you cut in half, cut it straight then, just round it. You know, just touch it and then you get the shape you want. Drawings there from Perry doing her butterflies. Now, of my on my side of the Barry's corner, I'm going to show you how to draw a house with your free hand. Let's go. Let's go over to my. Let's go over to the art corner, and I'll just show you how to draw this house. Okay. So your tools you will need. You will need your pencil, a large piece of paper, and a good surface that won't shake while you're drawing. So we're going to start off. You take your pencil with your your strong hand. You draw a line up. You draw a line to the side there. Try and make it as try and make it as level as you can. So then we have a square. And then for your rooftop for your house, draw a triangle on top of your square. And then if your house wants a little chimney, have draw a little, just a tiny rectangle going from the top to make your chimney. And also you can use all of use more of your more shapes, such as other rectangles, to make your door. Another square to make a window. Another window. And another window for the downstairs. And then we just draw two more, we draw two lines inside, making a cross, making four little windows in there. We draw a little circle on the door to make this door handle. And there you are children. There's how to make a house, very simply. Thank you for watching Barry's Corner. Join in next week where Randy, Perry and Joe will help you make a giraffe out of cardboard.